Hey guys, DeBarros Fan06 here, and today for you, Brave Frontier. Um, happy Fourth of July! Um, I'm going to do the Pandemic um, Frontier Gate, the global exclusive, right now. I actually recorded this a couple days ago. I just now uploading it. Um, I do not clear this technically, um, but you don't need to clear it to get enough points to get all the rewards. Um, so it's not a huge deal. One big thing you want to make sure of: you don't have um, anything that will cause status uh, immunities on all. Um, so why, that's why I brought Kaluk along to uh, remove them, to cure them, but not block them. Um, and Enza is pretty important here because you need to cause um, status effects. So causing status effects here on this guy ends up uh, killing him with poison. So that's needed in battle four. And from here on out, you kind of need Enza for um, status effects. Uh, but for this fight, what's important is um, that you do get um, cursed or paralyzed like that. If you do, if you don't. And you're immune to it you actually end up she nukes you and you end up dying so it's pretty important um, that uh, you don't have something that completely blocks everyone from getting status effects or you're gonna have a bad time so that's pretty much it for um, this battle here the first five battles um, the battles four and five are the ones that were throwing people off I don't know how to my recording here it, it kind of broke here but uh, yeah so just remember battle four um, you need Enza or someone with that can do poison, um, stuff like that. Uh, if most people have an Enza friend, it's easier to just take an Enza friend for this one. To be honest with you, it makes it so much easier. Um, I would strongly suggest doing that. Um, and you need it for the, basically going forward from battle uh, four through ten. You pretty much need um, someone like Enza, anyways, because um, this guy here does like healing and stuff like that. So you need to cut that out with status effects and stuff like that. So. Um, She's pretty much one of the MVP of this Frontier Gate, to be honest with you. It makes it so much easier. Now, I cleared this without Mifun. Um My Mifun wasn't um, fully ready yet, um, I believe. Um, I just wanted to bring him in to test it out. Uh, it ended up actually not working out too well, um, at least um, for me, at least, because uh, it wasn't, he isn't fully done yet. So, But I brought him anyways just to, you know, give it a try. So it is what it is. But uh, so this girl here, you have to um, just outbeat her healing. If you don't outbeat her healing, you will actually lose. Um, she does a freaking AoE that just basically blows everyone up. Um, I don't know exactly how many turns it is, but uh, you have to kill her before then. And that overdrive was 100% accident. I was pretty mad when that happened, by the way. <laughs> that was not intended. And uh, yeah, it happened. So. But uh, stuff like that happens. I mean, it's gonna happen to you guys um, by accident. So, I mean, I'm not gonna stop the recording and start over. I'm gonna roll with it and see if it ended up working out. It ended up working out. So, um, maybe would I've been able to clear it if I didn't use it? I mean, it's a possibility because it took me longer to build up uh, the, the overdrives. Then I don't know. I don't know if it would have, if it made a difference. To be honest with you, um, my timing on the final battle kind of made a difference as well. Um, but as you can see here, for the most part, I try to use Enza every um, Bray Burst every other turn. Typically, I do. Um, I think I started with Bray Burst, Super Bray Burst, Bray Burst, stuff like that, just alternating. Um, so this fight here, a bunch of guys come out. Um, as long as you kill a couple of them, you'll get enough points to get all the rewards. Um, I focus on the Thief uh, Guildmaster and uh, work on him the whole time. Um, I do use Enza quite a bit here um, each turn for Bray Burst because new units keep coming out. I want to get them all with the status effects on them and everything, so I want to make sure that happens. Um, so, And now we have five of them out here on the field. Um, I believe I use Overdrive here. Um, I wish I would have waited another probably two turns. Uh, if I wait another two turns, I think I'm going to be able to clear this. Um, I also kind of hit a, a little bit of bad luck there as well, so it did not work out in my favor. Um, I believe I'm at this point, I know at this point I'm praying on Juno um, to get the revive off. Um, if it happens, I don't remember. But basically, I killed everyone there except uh, the Thief and then um, Melchio comes out, who um, I come actually really close to killing. Um, I'm pretty sure I can kill, I can beat this, especially if I take out Mifun, I think, or get my Mifun finished first and get my timing better working, then I probably have a way better chance of beating it. Uh, but I came really close. Like I said, if I would have waited maybe two more turns with that uh, um, overdrive, I probably would have been able to do it. But as you can see here in a moment, um, we're still going to get a significant amount of points. You need, I think, 1.75 to get the total um, reward, which I'll show you here in a moment. That's actually a new record as well, even though I screwed up so many times. But uh, yeah, so let's go check out the rewards. As you can see here, uh, 1.75. So the 
Dreadnought. I, forget what it, I can't read behind the git, but um, it's on my Mifun right now. I'm going to go show you here in a moment just so you can see the sphere. And that is it. Have a safe, safe, good 4th of July. Please don't blow your hands off with your with fireworks. Everyone goes to bed. Someone goes to bed every year with less fingers than they started with on 4th of July. So please don't do that. Um, stay safe. Don't put fireworks in your pants or on your helmet. Uh, there's this guy died putting a firework on a motorcycle helmet and it burned through his helmet and through his head. People blow off fingers. There's that guy that put the firework in his pants zipper and it flipped up and shot him in the face. Please don't be stupid with fireworks, guys. Don't blow yourself up and don't lose some fingers. Be safe, have fun, and uh, get a designated driver also. Later, guys.